Countdown to the millennium. The end of the world is nigh. Oh, well, welcome to another episode of Never a Straight Answer. The podcast that aims to cover a wide range of topics from conspiracy theories to popular culture and news. I'm from Anonymous, and I say you listen to the Never a Straight Answer podcast. It's not, it's me, after all. It's only me. Welcome yeah. to the show. Hello. Hi, hey, Taylor. Hello. We're, we're hello. remote. Hi, Mikey. Mikey's in. Mikey, Come hello. In remote as well. Sorry, hey. I'm your host, Gaz. Welcome to the show. And we've got coming in from Skype, under quarantine, in the house, staying in lockdown, Mr. Taylor. Yeah. Lockdown. Yeah. And also a big round of applause for Mikey, who's joining us again uh, via, via satellite link up all the way from the, the Mikey Collectible Cave. Where you, where are you based? Hadfield. Hey, well, Yay. there you go. Big round of applause for Mikey as well. Yeah. Hey. Thanks for joining us, boys. Yeah. Um, isolation, lockdown, yeah, jiggeries. Yeah, you know what I mean? God, do we got to do um the show from from the comfort of our own homes, basically. And um, we hope that it doesn't impact um the show too much in terms of how how um much you enjoy it. But we wanted to get something out for you, so we we're, we're doing a couple of things. We're testing out um on Skype. Um, we've been using that um to communicate and get some kind of um, videos out on YouTube. So if you've not already subscribed, get over to find us at Never A Straight Answer Podcast on YouTube and subscribe to us there. Um, and there. Yeah, so you'll see a couple of kind of um, conference calls, if you like, of us um, doing a bit of a video diary about our isolation and what we've been doing, that sort of thing. Um, it's pretty enjoyable, I would think, if you want to get yeah. over. Um, well, we've got a bit of a weird episode as well today, right? Because um, we were trying to think of what we what we want to talk about. And I mean, obviously, what's dominating the news at the moment and everybody is on lockdown. Um, but we noticed um, that there was something going on with our, one of our episodes, um, the Nostradamus episode we put out last year. Yeah. And it was kind of um, odd because all of a sudden around February, um, it spiked in terms of listener numbers. So we were kind of like, wow, is this because of what's going on at the minute? You know, and, um, you know, we couldn't really work it out. I mean, I had a look back on the old episode to see if we mentioned anything, and yeah. we didn't. But, well, not as far as I could find anyway. Um, but basically, I wanted to kind of look into if there's been any prophecies surrounding um, the whole corona um, virus situation and um, what these prophets have yeah, apparently said about it and when they said it, do you know, because a lot of these things they come about a fair few years beforehand. Um, yeah, fair we've few been talking, hundred years. Yeah, sometimes a couple of hundred years and we've been talking about a couple um, over the last couple of months um, like which one came up not so long ago which was what the Wuhan 400 which yeah. Um, was kind of um, a, a theory that yeah. somebody prophesized. But we'll go into it. We'll go into it a bit more um, a bit later on in the show. Um, yeah. So, how are you boys anyway? What you what guys? What have you guys been up to? Dayla? Staying in, staying in. That's what <laughs> I've been up to. Staying in and like you know helping the NHS and like not spreading my germs around spreading if I've got it. Book. Yeah. Well, that's that's the point, isn't it? That's the best thing you can do at the moment, if you um, because I think I've said this before. I think about isolation and how people want to kind of help. Um, they're stuck indoors. They want to be able to get out there and help the NHS and do a good service. But yeah. you know, for a lot of people, the best thing to do is just stay at home. You know, you're yeah. helping more than you think by just just being at home and you know, being under quarantine if you like. So, um. Yeah. How about Under you, Mike? Right. You, what have you been up to? Been gaming? You've been doing a lot of streaming on the um, game uh, on Twitch, have you? Yeah. Do I yeah. give a plug for your um, your stream? 
It's Mad Mike TW25. Mad Mike TW25. Get on his stream and you can see him twitching. Um, you doing what's it tomorrow, aren't you? Um, completing Spider Man on PS1 oh. or PS4? Yeah, oh. PS1. That's how long ago I had one. PS1. <laughs> the PS1. Hey, I've got a PS2 yeah. still. I've actually still own a PS2. I had a load of games, right? And I gave them to the, I yeah. gave them to a, a guy who was um in a um a, a, like a, a care home, and yeah. uh, the the people who owned the care home said that it was they were some of the games were too violent, so he couldn't have them, and I was just like, it was like fucking what? pro, pro skating or, or whatever. Yeah. There was like I didn't think I had any games that were could be deemed too violent. It weren't like I was giving him GTA or anything. But no, for no, I like, give him GTA. What? I, I should have. Yeah. I should have. <laughs> so. A little, um, little bit. So what have you been? Um. Have, so have you not been keeping busy trying to keep your red mind occupied? Yeah. I've been yeah. Cleaning. I've been doing a lot of that, you know. Been doing the house from top to bottom, just doing a bit, you know, it's and good. getting all those jobs done that you couldn't, you know, you didn't have time yeah. for. So well, it's, I mean, it's a good, nice good opportunity time. to do kind of stuff like that i mean not tried your hand at any sort of new skills for right here's the time now i'm gonna do a bit i'm gonna try and learn something that i've been putting off gotta learn a bit more on law is that what you've I've been been doing i've actually been getting back into the djing oh cool yeah so what have you got decks yeah i've got a digital one i've got a set of old vinyl And then I've got a set of CDJs and a set of digital ones as well. Yeah, fair enough. I, I like vinyl mixing more. I think that's. Be- I yeah. think it's just a bit more kind of like um, pure. You know, I mean, in terms of like if, you know when you think of DJing, I know a few people who use those sort of MP3 digital decks, and I'm like, oh, oh is it really? Is it really mixing that? Is that because all you do? I mean, fair enough. You've still got. You have the auto mix and stuff. The auto mix button and. It drives me mad that when my mates are like, oh, use the auto mix button. Like, fuck off. What you does it just throw sound effects in? Like, the auto mix button fades from one track to another. Ah, I see. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cheating. No skill in that. Yeah. Ah, there's definitely no skill in that. I feel like I've lost something. You know, like DJ Dude uh, or spinning it off. DJ Dude. Dude. <laughs> Don't make or DJ Dude. Ah, oh, right, okay. Yeah, well... And he does yeah. it the old way. Well, we'll I hope um, everything turns out on this episode anyway, because obviously it's one of the first times we've we've tried a remote location, um, like, episode, um, and we're still kind of doing it. No edits, we're just doing it in one take, see how yeah. it goes. So yeah. um, we hope you enjoy it. Like I say, we're going to talk about um, the kind of prophecies that have been kind of attributed to what's going on at the minute. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later on. But first of all, we've got what's fucked up. Where, where you're from. You're from. And this uh, week, yeah, it's a very special where, what's fucked up yeah. where you're from. And we've had a lot of requests for it, to be honest. Everybody's just basically said, planet Earth. Earth. Yeah, planet it's Earth be, uh, planet. It's where, be. what's fucked up and we're all from here. Yeah. yeah. Seriously, yeah. I mean, at the moment, it's fair to say that the award for planet, you know, the, the watch fucked up from so where it goes to Earth. Planet Earth, yeah. Fucked up in our area. What? Well, go on. I can't get fucking jam donuts. Nowhere. It, you jam- know, eggs, mate, round my way. That's what's fucked up. What about oh. you, Taylor? What's fucked up round your way? Got a ball. <laughs> <laughs> what's, fucked up, what's fucked up since this has happened? For me, not really. That or is much, it just business as usual for you at the minute? Yeah, it's just like you know, keep in, you know, do do your shit. Just less less going out. That's it, really. Yeah, for me, cool. not being able to get jam donuts. So yeah. I've tried. Well, I think, these, I think these are first world problems. I think there's a lot more kind of severe sort of things happening. People's livelihoods are being affected. You know, we can't take it to. Donut. I mean, I will try and next time I find you some donuts, I will fucking deliver them. I guess I'll try and get a courier. 
if I can get a courier before I've eaten. Why you try courier? Why what? you throw, Why do you try ringing the places that make make it and ask for them? Yeah, they might. They might just fucking hook yeah. you up. Hey, it's good. It's extra little business, you know what I mean? Yeah, get on to Krispy Kreme. Just say, listen, yeah. I'm a big fan. Get some Krispy Kreme, I'm wanting. Hey, I'm a big now. fan. If it's Krispy special. Kreme, if anybody from Krispy Kreme are listening, and you can hook our brother Mikey up with some Krispy Kreme donuts, even Greg's will do at this point. He no, can't get jam man. donuts. Yeah, Let's sort them out. Anywhere that does donuts, just send just me some. Any donuts. donut distributor, manufacturer, anyone who can make Mikey a donut. He would be very much appreciated. He's like, do you know, he reminds me of that. Um, what's it at the end in um, um, Zombieland? You know, he's um, trying to get a, get a Twinkie. Tallahassee. Yeah. He's like, I need a Twinkie. It's the end of the world. It's the fucking end of the world. What was you talking about there at the beginning of the episode then, Taylor? What? About that book. The apocalypse. Oh, yeah. Well, it, it, it was a book I got in, uh, I think it was 97. Yeah. Uh, okay. And they had, like, you know, predictions on what was going to happen. Ah, okay, so we're going to be talking about this a bit later on in the show, are we? Yeah, that... well, I doubt it, because it's, the, the, it, it's like yeah. with a lot of them. It did sound very apocalyptic pretty, um, at the start. It, it, give, it give it more than... Oh, does it give it all that? It's yeah. like, oh, it yeah. Come out like, with no the, action. The bio's, like, fucking promising, like, the, the, the rapture, and it doesn't give you nothing. It was free as well. Kelly's brother told me about a book that says in 2020 there will be a pneumonia type virus that will will come and go quickly and then come again in 10 years and then disappear completely. Is that yeah, the book? Yeah, I've actually got no. I've got the no no but I've got I've, um, I've, I've, I've got what you're talking about um for it in the bit later on. So yes, we'll cover right. that. Yeah. yeah. Because it's really quite interesting. Um there's a couple of people who do prophecies um, so, you know, we'll, we'll get into it. It's not just Nostradamus. So, no. you know, in fact, these, it, it leads me to a question um, that is this, um, you know, collective subconscious um, where a lot of people, you know, we've all sensed something's coming yeah. uh, and we've all had a bit of a, an opening a, and, you know, an awakening. So, and at different yeah. times, people have had these sort of dreams or... Some people have just dismissed them, but then there's other people who are a bit more like, oh, shit, that, what's that mean? Or they remember the dreams a bit vividly. You know, um, it, it seems like a, quite a lot of people have had these sort of um, sort of premonitions, I suppose you could call them. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's like, you know, um, I, I'll get into it in a bit. Yeah, but yeah. Like, well, like yeah. I say, I think um, in terms of what's fucked up where you're from this week, I think Everywhere. it's safe to say yeah. that planet Earth takes the this week's spot. So, um, big round of applause. Ah, well, have you been to Mars lately? Like, like, that's what I'm saying. saying. It's all kosher on Mars at the moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? If they all they've got to worry about at the minute is the fact that they're getting the, the probe stuck in 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 um you know in the in the surface. Neutral. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They're just getting Neutral. the probe stuck in, and they have to get the fucking robotic can to pop it out. That's if that if that's the fucking main concern then I don't think you've got much to worry about. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather be on Mars at the minute. Are you on about nah. the probe? They told it to hit itself with its shovel yeah. to get it free. Yeah, get yourself, get yourself out. Yeah, I was talking on the show a couple of weeks ago about how um, how that is quite ingenuity, using quite a lot of ingenuity, surely for the fact that they're telling it to do that from Earth. Do you know what I mean? And the signal must have to bounce off fucking however many satellites yeah, to get it takes to them like four minutes. That's uh, what I mean. Something, it's not an instant that, thing, but it's like the thing you can give that sort of command and something so distant can still respond and um, yeah. and carry out a task. It's pretty well, good. Well, the, the, I couldn't even get you to distant, install I couldn't even get you to install fucking um, Skype earlier. Oh well, I mean? yeah, but we got there. That was because <laughs> of fucking Skype or the computer system. You, 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 asked, for, you asked for a password, dear. I'll give you my password. Oh, it's invalid. Put the right password. I put the right password in again. It's invalid. I go on another machine. It's valid. What the fuck? And then I get alerted afterwards. It's like it's not right, is it? Yeah, well, yeah. what are you gonna do? Whole system. Um, well, like I say, um, this this week, I think we should we get into the main topic. 
I say we normally yeah, have yeah, a bit yeah. more yeah. A, a bit more about the the area that we cover. Yeah, but, but I think obviously. everyone knows if you pop your head out the window and look left, look right, there you are. If you pop out your window and Mikey, yeah, so if you oh, if just you, your head, not all of you. If you just yeah, your just pop your head out, right? Where's what's Mikey you doing? You all right, mate? Yeah, me freaking soundbar behind me, behind me. Technical issues. So he goes in, goes into standby mode, and it flashes standby at you for about an hour, and it was distracting me. Oh, fair enough. So I had to get it sorted. Um, yeah. well, well, like I say, it's um one of those um bit of a weird episode, isn't it? Because like we don't normally do these sort of video conference sort of um online. Um, we normally get together. We do the episode, but obviously with social distancing and the fact that we are trying to kind of flatten a curve, if you like, you know, yes, we, yeah. we felt that we should, if we're going to do any episode at all, we should be putting it out um, and recording another means. Um, so, yeah, f- hopefully it's going well. Um, and, you know, it doesn't sound um, any different from a normal episode. Well, I hope no. not. Um, so, we yeah, know. this week. Like I say, we were looking at like the Nostradamus episode suddenly spiked in terms of um, listeners, um, which made me kind of wonder why. I went onto um, the Google machine and had a yeah. bit of a look around. And basically, I found out that there was a, um, um, a lot of people who were wondering whether Nostradamus actually, um, you know, prophesized this, this thing, this coronavirus. Um, and there's a big, there's a big kind of gap in the market. Well, there's a big market for it. A lot of people are out there, you know, um, writing articles and blogs and stuff about kind of how um, he could have prophesized it. Now, from what I can gather, there was a um, a qu- a qu- a quatrain, which is a poem, basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, um. I think it's like four lines, right? Yeah. I mean, I could be wrong, um, but he mentions a plague right but it's so vague that you can't really say he did it or he didn't do you know yeah, what i mean very cryptic. He, very i always find all of his kind of things quite uh cryptic anyway do you know Don't what i mean as well it's a language that no one uses anymore and that uh, i think there's only i think there's only about four people who actually know more about it than anyone else so, so what what do you think about it then? Do you think it's going to be kind of a case that... Um, I'm a big fan of his, to be honest. I am, to be fair. But do you think at this point where every time something major happens, like a natural disaster or, you know, um, a war, everyone always turns to Nostradamus and thinks, oh, what, I wonder what he's got to say on the matter. Well, yeah, but Notre Dame has also said that we would not be in a 100-year war that we'd never fought before, which we actually are in. Of course. Which against the terrorism, uh, against the... Uh, um, war on uh, terror. terror. Yeah. So we're already... So I'm predicting that it's going to end roughly in a year's time, ta- in 100 years' time. Yeah. Uh, well, 80 years' time, roughly. Say, so give it, give a few years. Uh, at a bridge in France, apparently. Um but then there was supposed to be, as I yeah, as I remember it, I believe there was supposed to be nuclear war after a summit. But then we live on for millions of years. We, as a human uh, base on this earth, he predicts that we live here for a hundred years, mm. uh, thousand uh, millions of years more. More. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? It's like um, a few of this, the the um, theories that have gone around have basically suggested that even though the apocalypse or the end of the world um, is going to come. It's not going to be the end end. It's going to be like... Um, a, New a begin- bit, the beginning. That's of what the, the apocalypse end. is, like, isn't it? Well, that's what the apocalypse is, isn't it? It's like an unveiling. an unveiling and the unveiling of like what's to come. Yeah. And like, um, is it that we've just hit a tipping point that we just hit the edge now and we're just kind of facing the reality of... of how we've treated the planet and it's the i've heard this phrase a few times the planet's fighting back the planet's trying to heal herself all these sort of statements but when mother nature and she come back and she bites hard 
Well, this is what I was getting at the other day as well. I mean, when we all start moving again, we're going to end up with this spike of, um, you know, pollution where everybody's trying to just carry on as we used to. And it's like taking a heroin addict and saying, right, okay, here you can't have any heroin now and you clean up, but then all of a sudden you're giving them what they used to have on a daily, you know, hit. And then it's like all of a sudden they're fucking like, well, I can't handle it because they're they're clean, you know. And that's what I worry about what might happen with the Earth. It's the longer we keep, and I'm not saying that it, but it's the the planet's been living off this level of pollution for so long. Yeah. And now all of a sudden we're taking like, you know, we've drastically decreased this carbon emissions, which is great. But when we kick back in, is it going to be a big fucking hell? Shit, what we're gonna do? <laughs> like, is it gonna make a tip? Like, is that what, like, I'm saying, a, a tipping point? Well, it's down to us, and to be honest, uh, and industries. It's down to, um, uh, will we go back to the same way and pattern that we did before, where industries sell us shit and we accept it, or do we go back? But then again, what's the alternative? What is the alternative? Someone now has got to come on with an alternative to what we've been dealing with. Well, Until you... that happens, I believe we're going to go straight back into it and like straight back into the toxicity and things are just going to get worse and then toxicity. something like this is going to happen again. Then it's just going to be the same old history time after again. We're going well, to do every now and again, stop it. Do you want to hear what Nostradamus had predicted for 2020? Yeah. Um, he basically, the he predicted some destructive earthquakes. Yes. Um, he said that there might be an economic crisis, which is been. definitely and on the cards at the moment. One um, he said that there'd be a, we're, we'd be on the verge of an economic crisis in 2020. Um, and yeah. he's not wrong there. Yeah. Sure. Um, wildfires um, of staggering scale. A lot of them have been the last couple of years. America, Australia, Canada, fucking Australia. Yeah, everywhere has been hit with that. Um, a record number of storms. Yeah. Storms, yeah. There's been shit there loads of storms. Been like storm more than you. Well, we can't yeah. really recently. Yeah. But, I mean, we're only, what, three months into the year. Yeah. We've still got a lot of 2020 to go. And yeah. it's been like a fucking bugger of a year so far, hasn't it? I mean, in terms of what's going on. It's not been on. a great start, has it's it? It's not really? been a good start. It's not even at Easter yet. But that just means at the that, end um, it gets better. Someone was um, waving this banner outside um, Parliament where Channel 4 were doing a news broad- broadcast about Corona. And um, this guy's waving this banner saying, um, Jesus Christ will return. Like, or Jesus will come again. And he's I'm like, well, here, if mate. he does, he's going to be fucking pissed off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I think it, a lot of people have been said, oh, he'll be classed as a key worker. Yeah. So, you know, he'll be... Yeah. Get back in, get back in the game with healing hands. We yeah, but then if he offered you a job, would you take it? What? If he offered you, a, if he offered you one of the positions. What, as a disciple? Or, uh, no, as, as uh, a government, would you take it? It was Jesus, Jesus personally. If, if the, uh, yeah, if he pops down. Uh, if, um, he, he, all right, Jesus. What's and on he the offers you a job, he goes, right, Boris. You've been doing all right, job. Not too bad, son. You know Boris what I mean? Now, Boris is a um, gal. Wally, though, he's been yeah. underlying symptoms, borderline. He's borderline yeah. coronic. Well, a lot of uh, a lot of the uh, upper class have as well. well. All be, just because all they do is shake your hands. Yeah. Um, is it, is that true, or are they just trying to make him look more human by going, oh, he's got it when he hasn't got it? Keeps him out of the light, keeps him yeah. in all. At home, he's under yeah. pressure as well, so his immune system's going to be down. There's, a, there's very likely that he's going to catch that He's got it. I don't at all. It's like Prince Charles. Prince Charles has been diagnosed with it as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And where's he been? To be honest, all them memes like he's out been there, and, you got moral, the wrong and all of a sudden, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all that stuff he's got that have come in and brought germs in. Probably Prince yeah, Charles. Don't... He's staff a dirty oh, bastard. You're blaming. He's staff a dirty bastard. What the fuck? I was going to say, you're blaming, blaming the working man. How the can common, you say the that? common fucking person no, who's out there trying to earn that, a living. Now, and there you go. How do you, know Prince, yeah. how do you know Prince Charles isn't fucking, like, you know, fucking 
Yeah, you seem to have a dance. double on the side with one of the maids or something. You know I, mean? I don't know. Um, that's why he's ended up with it. Well, well could it, it could could have been something worse, could it really? Yeah, it could have been. Um, a couple more things Nostradamus is predicted for 2020. Sea levels would rise. Yeah. Um, there would be a big war. Um, basically says the the, the great um, eastern powers will be at war against the west. Um, I see that coming, yeah. Implanted chips, implanted microchips. Yes, they're already doing that, and Europe, and they're even doing it in this country. They're trying to do it so they can get rid of cash for one, uh, for uh, and two control. Because if they've got the control of uh, your cash flow, how can they? Uh, they can get you to do anything it's by turning and on yeah. hard, turn it off. Well, and there's actually, I can't remember, there's one European country that's actually, uh, nearly everyone's got it. What? Uh, was it Estonia or something like that? They've all got a microchip. It is basically a thingy city, a, a digital city. They try to make a digital city. It was one of the first things that uh, the EU did. Uh, and it's come on leaps and well, bounds. Basically. Yeah, and they want everyone like uh, every country like that eventually everybody that to ride around car. in little electronic blue motorbikes yeah walk into a door it. I don't want it. I'm yeah. not it. we call we we have that it's called amazon yeah get over to amazon and um you know we're associate oh, affiliate if you want to get over and do your regular shopping you know we'll yeah. get a nice oh, little yeah. treat for doing it yeah. so yeah. check out the amazon affiliate link in the description hey hell yeah um Oh, humans yeah. on the moon. Humans will live on the moon in 2020, um, according to Nostradamus. Um, not, what do you reckon to that? 2020? Uh, I say they're already there. In the think base, already there? Maybe. Yeah. I said that to Lee before about living on the secret moon base. Then I said I'd go and live on there and come back when this is all over. And there has been secret missions that uh, rockets have been sent up to go to no destination. The destination would either be the ISS or satellite into space. So do you, you think people have already it. got themselves up there? Yeah, I think that. Yeah. What about yeah. um, the bunker underneath um, Denver Airport? What's that being used for at the minute? Do you not think a load of dignitaries and all that would be heading to Denver? Yeah, I reckon possibly, yeah. Well, have we seen that? Have we seen any sort of evidence to Excuse support me. that at the minute? Well, no, they're still showing the face at the minute. Hmm. But then again, I, they easily I, use a I, double... Doffelgangers. Yeah. It could be easily done. The only you thing telling is, me that the doppelgangers of the Queen and Prince Charles and all them are, um, you know, doing the public appearances? And yeah. That meanwhile, the real Queen and Prince Charles and all them, they're in the bunker underneath Denver Airport or yeah. Balmoral or no. wherever. There's one in London. Uh, it's like uh, three miles long underneath London. It's yeah. uh, near the air, uh, air base. I can't remember. So, yeah, uh, there's always staff under there. I think there's 300 staff there at any one time, and it's all for the Queen, did you, uh, and everyone else, uh, you know, around that. Well, God and save you. the Queen. I was going to do the song, but I thought, nah, nah. You know which one I mean? The the one by um, what's it? Um, Queen. No. No. <laughs> Fucking um, Sex Pistols. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, well, yeah. So, a couple of kind of cons- well, I say conspiracies things that have cropped up when I was doing a bit of research on prophecies. Um, was something you brought to my attention originally, um, the Wuhan four hundred, um, which is um basically a a, a man made virus yeah. that is featured in a novel by um Dean Kuntz's. Um, and the book is called um, Eyes of Darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the character named Dubei, who narrates the story of a Chinese scientist who brings a biological weapon called Wuhan 400 to the United States. Um, you brought it to my attention. When you kind of told me about it, it sounded like a legit thing, like it was a book about... You know, um, you know, a thing that happened or some prophecy or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, wow, that sounds fucking almost too kind of coincidental to be not. What well, I've got it, it on order. 
Yeah, because you kind of was telling me about it. Have you ordered it off Amazon now? Yeah. Yeah, I've got, um, I've got it on order, yeah. Well, I was doing a bit of research into it, and obviously this is a it's a character in a novel, so it is a fictional fictional kind of work. Um, not that it doesn't make it any sort of less spooky, because, I mean, no, lots he could of them have called that, that anyway. He could have called that, you know, the fucking I don't, Barcelona 4000, I don't know what. Well, you could say that about the Simpsons. 500, what? You could say that about the Simpsons. I was going to say, exactly, that was my next point. You could totally say that about um, the, the Simpsons... Uh, family Guy, oh my God, uh, Simpsons Family Guy, who've oh. all made predictions. Yeah. Um, could you put that on par? Do you know what I mean? Because people make a big deal about the Simpsons, you know, predicting things. Yeah. Um, like these TV shows. Short term thing, though, isn't put it? Out a lot of content, so you kind of think they're going to hit on some. They're going to hit right. I mean, have you ever heard the the phrase um, "throw enough shit, some sticks"? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 You know, it's that sort of thing. I mean, The Simpsons are on thirty seasons, fucking okay, twenty odd episodes a season. You know, occasionally so they're going to come out with something they think's funny, and then it's going to come up, come true, and happen. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Trump for president, they predicted that, but they predicted it in a way that they were making fun of. What? What's you know? We're looking at twenty years down in the future in that particular episode. Um, what's the most outrageous thing that could possibly happen in 20 years? And someone went, Trump for president? And they went, that's it. We'll do that in the episode. And then what the fuck happens? Trump becomes president. So, you know, it's like... It does, it, it's not all straightforward. It's not all straightforward. It, but it, the thing is, it's like, are you going to make a big deal about it then and say, the Simpsons have got mystical powers which help them predict or Matt Gronin's is somehow involved in some sort of Illuminati, Illuminati cult, which is feeding him information beforehand of things that potentially could happen in the future. Those yeah, are the types of conspiracies off. that we've, we've seen surrounding it. Do you know what I mean? No, I just think it's guesswork that paid off. Yeah. Totally. Like you said the craziest thing, what would happen if this happened? I mean, no one thought that this would happen like like the Spanish flu, but this is, you know... Not in this out. day and age. We're well, living in, in the think, fucking... In the it, 2020s. Yeah, it still turns up. Well, you know I, mean? I think... Areas. Do you think people were kind of just like coming out with all these um, looking for prophecies and looking for kind of conspiracies um, for someone to blame? Or do you think that the, by having a prediction, it'll kind of give them an idea about what's coming next? Do you know what I mean? Like, um, they might have an idea of... you Because at the end of the day, because it's so uncertain, people are trying to find a, um, a kind of, oh, well, well, what's going to happen next sort of thing. And just by knowing that, or because it seems a big search topic at the minute is what I'm getting at. So are people looking for this because they want a f answers? They want to find out what, what potentially could happen? Or... Yeah. Everyone yeah. wants answers. And you know there's something going to happen after this. You know what I mean? It's not that straightforward. I mean... Oh, so you think that, like, it might answer a couple of questions, like what might happen now, but what also what might happen as a cause for it, as an yeah, effect? Yeah, it makes me think of, like, the 9-11 thing again, like how 9-11, uh, what was it, a couple of days before, Randy, turning around saying, well, uh, we lost uh, 2 point odd trillion pounds and we, we've had an investigation and we've got all the information in Building 7 and we're going to give it you. And then all of a sudden, a couple of days later, it goes under. Yeah, that's you know, true. Look at the, the, the time before uh, last year. All the shit that was coming out about all the big, rich and powerful people that, like, there was loads of uh, legal paperwork to bring them out of the woodwork to get everyone to say this, that and the other. And you had, like, uh, 500 uh, CEOs from big major companies just leave just leave like that because if they would have stayed, they'd have to answer questions. But because they've left, they don't have to answer a goddamn thing. It just makes me think that, like, all the shit that's been going on truth. before. And you can't yeah. handle the truth. Yeah, we, yeah you can't. But well, then would you want to know the truth? Well, if I think that's what people really want to know, the know truth. these things. I think people do want to know. I think they want to know yeah. what, what, what um, you know, potential deaths, um, how many more to yeah. expect, um, how long it might last and um, just having that insight to what's going on, do you know, I think that's why people have kind of latched onto this prophecy 
sort of um, angle and why right. people and some people just believe in and um, quite a That's lot of people right. believe in it i mean i believe in the universe and what happens for a reason and karma and uh, those yeah 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 things. karma's a bitch um you know karma is a bitch and yeah. is this kind of like us getting ours you don't wow. know you know wow. Wow. A getting a butt slap but well, um i've got um a, a prophecy by um is it barber um, Van Gaar. Oh, yeah. So, Van Barbara Gaar. Van Gaar yeah. um, is a prophet um, who well, she, she lived till um, 2012, I think. Um, and she was yes. a prophetess and she was a blind lady. Yeah. Um, uh, but she, you know, she kind of came out with a fair few prophecies that came true. But, you know, um, she basically, her end of the world prophecy um, she stated was... that. Go the here and now, she was the here and now Nostradamus of the time. Oh, at, so at she time. was like the, the new kid on the block? Yeah, she was like the one, if you want to uh, know what like Nostradamus would have done, well, bang, go and see this lady, <laughs> and she would have gone, yeah, she abracadabra. <laughs> and she had come out with the next best prophecy. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah. Fair enough. Have you, have you heard any prophecies about kind of what's going on, Mikey? No, I've not really looked, to be honest, though. Really? I, I don't follow the news as much as I should. Well, Even to be honest, it's one of them where it's, it's getting a quite a bit fucking hard to watch at the minute. You know, you put it on um, and it's constantly talking about fucking what's going on. And it's um, after a while, you kind of just not well, you don't really want to watch it. You want to put a comedy on. Yeah. <laughs> watch yeah, a bit it, of Adam yeah. or something. I don't know. You know, just something just easy. I don't, I don't look on, a lot of people post posts on Facebook about the latest news and I don't look at them because half of them are from fucking sites that are bullshit sites. Oh, of course, yeah, there's a lot of, um, you know, fucking, there's a lot of stuff going out there, but um, the government's working to kind of pull a lot of stuff that's considered fake news, bullshit, or, yeah, you know, pseudo. And, and don't do it in Hungary, because if you do it in Hungary, it helps for five years in prison. Can you really? Yeah. Maybe? Putting what fake news up? Yeah. Well, um, Barbara Van Gaar, um, her end of the world prophecy said that um, the end of the, the end of the world wouldn't be in 2020, but that would be the start of it. Um, okay. She predicts that the her end of the world would be um, 5079, so quite a long way off. Um, but she yeah. reckons that this could be basically the lead or the start of um, you know big. something bigger. Um, leading into, you know, and as a, like you said earlier, as a humanity, we'll carry on, but yeah. it'll be a case of like struggling through to yeah. the point. Do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah, no. Um, no, no but, they won't shit, just a different day. But so obviously, but she never elaborates on what that could mean in terms of what those sort of um, years are going to be like. Um, so you never know. But obviously this is basically she also says that it'll be um a lot of kind of natural disasters and political unrest yeah well uh, well that's another thing that's another good reason why the government sh uh if they are have done this have let it out because there's been so much political unrest i mean god knows we've been dealing with brexit for like four years and it was supposed to be dealt in fucking two course, yeah it was supposed to be done in a few yeah. months and then it was like oh for fuck's sake yeah and it just kept prolonging, and then ev everyone around the world was like, well, can you get this shit sorted out? Because we need to sort our own country out. We can't do it until you sort yourself out. So then we're finally trying to get it all sorted out. We're not even at the end yet. And yeah, like, yeah. Well, it's, that's gone on. Has that gone on hold for the time being, no, obviously? It has in certain aspects, but then they've uh, rejoined and started it again. But we might have to have a two-year extension for this now oh, because of this. That makes it the government help them a little bit more to stop the uh, people from turning around and going, oh, what's going on here? Well, to be All honest, the rights that's been going on. Well, to be honest, I, I mean, I'm not a big fan of, um, you know, the political sort of parties at all. But yeah. the way this has been handled um, has been been pretty well handled, I feel. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, think I actually thought you were going to Now, say, now yeah, it's started that. to kind of kick off a bit, um, you know, I feel like they've they've kind of done a lot, yeah. Um, we need to do a lot more still. Do we need to do a lot more? I'm not fucking denying that. Um, but what I'm getting at is, um, I think it was a bit slow on the uptake. Do you know if they could have yeah. 
yes. you know, started the ball rolling a bit sooner, yeah. we'd be in a better position now. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I'm not being funny. I mean, they could have saved some lives, you know, but it's one of them, isn't it? It's like fucking now that the ball's rolling and you can see things happening, it's... I mean, some people might not agree with me, but... Yeah, but it takes time some of this stuff to deal with. Of course it not, does. You, you can't just I mean? do it overnight. There's um, new my, agencies my, my, been made. The big, big issue with they've got to face is making sure everyone gets paid on time oh. because... Um, at the end of the day, it's like there's a lot of companies who are relying on their bailout, and you know it's if you know it's getting them the money. Um, are these companies because these companies who have a bit of a um, a bit of you know money to weather the storm in terms of like um, for a certain degree, yeah, for, to a certain degree, exactly. So I mean, they might be all right next month. Yeah, there's already something going to on. Pay people, but like there's some companies out there who can't afford to pay their next wage. Yeah. You yeah. know. So, you know, they need to kind of, ho- I'm hoping that they're on it with this stuff because it, it's not a case of that. It's people when, if, if if half the country wake up on payday and can't, he's got, they've got nothing in the bank. It's, it's fucking adding it, adding to it, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? What if it's a big pension scam? How do you what mean? What if there's a big pension scam? Right. Businesses will go under if. If this ain't dealt with after a certain amount of time, yeah, and more and more businesses will go under because they obviously haven't got the capital. The banks will only do so much. The government is only giving so much, but that's got to go between like you know loads of companies, not just fucking one or two. So uh, uh, it's it, it's a skinny amount of money realistically to all the businesses, including the big ones that might need the more more money. So if them big businesses or smaller businesses go under then first thing that you get hit is the pension right so then the pension is covered by the government right now let's say too many go under then what does the government do on that basically they will pay the pension which means you and me and every other person in the country will be paying for our pension well we already was paying for our pension in the, so you're paying twice instead of one. This is why I said I didn't want to, well, not for this reason, but like what I always was like, oh, I don't want to pay into my pension. Because yeah, I was like that. Be well, like, it's just in uh, case it's one of them. I've got my funeral gear. Yeah, I need it. Oh, you know, know. But it's one of them, innit? Finally start paying into it, and then this happens. Um, another, pro- another prophecy was what one Mikey was talking about before. Do you want to tell us a bit about what you know about this? Um, the one we was talking about with the book. Yeah, is there's, it um, Sylvia Brownie? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's a book that says, I think it was wrote, I'm not sure if it was the 90s or the 70s, but on one of the pages it says, in 2020, a pneumonia-type virus will appear, and it'll, it'll appear and it'll be severe, and then it'll disappear again within as quick as it came, and then it'll pop up again in another 10 years. And then it'll disappear completely to never be it's seen big. again. Do you know what? That's, that's it's like got it bang on because uh, basically, yeah, Sylvia Brownie um, in 2008, um, she was a popular psychic and apparently predicted the coronavirus or COVID-19. Um, and it was a self-titled book. And the quote from the book is, in 2020, a severe uh, pneumonia-like illness will spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and bronchial tubes. Um, and respiratory um, and respiratory system. All known treatments will um, it will be resist all known treatments. Um, as baffling as the illness itself um, will be, as fast uh, be the how fast it vanishes, um, just as fast apparently. As it started, yeah. yeah. Well, it's so, it's not been it's not been that yeah. long, really. It's the fact, though, that she says it'll come back in 10... It'll disappear and then come back in 10 years' time. Yeah, she time. does. She says that it'll disappear and come back in 10 years' time. Um, well, then we need to be prepared. Well, this has blatantly yeah. caused Twitter and social media to melt down. A lot of people have heard about it. Obviously, Mikey's um, heard... Where did you hear about it, Mikey? Me, sis, uh, me wife's brother, my brother-in-law, he, he, he's got the book that it's Oh, in. right, Okay. So is this the psychic's prophecies? Because, I mean, she's yeah. she she goes into a bit more detail as well than some of them. And like I say, some of them are cryptic. I mean, if you've got this site, you'd expect to be a bit more kind of like precise 
with your prophecies, wouldn't you? You'd want yeah. you'd want to put out fucking you don't precise, easy, concise though, you? fucking shit you where I want to know exactly what's being said, what's happening. Um like pressure hunt. You don't wait too I easy. don't want to be led down the garden path. That's yeah, the thing. If you were gonna, if you if you had that in, if you were in that position, would you just tell it outright as it is, or yeah. would you get them to, to work? to look for it to find the evidence i try and get people i try and make sure that people got the the point now back in nostradamus's time you might have a you've got a, a bit more of an excuse because like you said they use a different language so his his um version of um what's going right. on is is not how we understand no, no. that even even french now yeah it's like kind of a lost it's like the dialect changes um words are used where they weren't used today and vice versa so you know um they've got an excuse but a prophet who's 2018 2012 who's come out and wrote a book in plain english i'd expect them to fucking be a bit more uh precise with their uh, prophecies so uh, i appreciate sylvia's um uh, account of things to be honest but yeah. one thing i will say is that she did once say that um, the group of miners, the, the Chilean miners that were trapped, would never be found, and then a week later they were. So, yeah, but not predictions can have uh, a different sway. There's no answer to the prediction that they uh, they're seeing or so you hearing. Think it'd be a totally different group of miners yeah. that we never even knew about. Because the way I understand it is because no one's if, looking. If it's like the dreamlike state that. Um, you're getting images of certain time paths, so you can't. You can only estimate. That's what uh, they reckon happened to Nostradamus. So he only had a rough estimate of when this would happen. But like, it was kind of he's sniffing. playing with kind of like, oh, I don't know, sometime within how long's a piece of string? Well, yeah. Well, if you've got big towers, but back then you didn't, then you'd have to go. Well, fucking hell, that must be. What, about a million years fucking in the future? Fucking couple yeah, of thousand future, years? But it was actually 50 years. Yeah. yeah, if you yeah. think about it from, uh, 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 like, the uh, turn of the century, then it's, you know what I mean? It makes it look a little different. So something's added there, something's been taken away there, that used to be there, that's not there no well, more. Well, at the end of the show, I want us all to make a prediction for the end of 2020. So get thinking, boys. Is fucking hell, man. You all right, Mikey? What do you think yeah. at the moment? Do you think there's much, um, you know, think there's much to these prophecies? I think some some are bang on because some say some are, and then it happens. Specifics. Some some of them's some of them's guesswork. I think. Yeah. It's, so it's, I, I could say I could say like right in. 20 years time the fucking a meteorite's gonna hit earth and it's gonna devastate half of fucking earth and half are gonna survive there's a there's a i i can i'm either right or i'm wrong yeah, yeah that's true a, yeah you've got 50, 50, time we are gonna get 50 50 hit. Ch yeah. chance yeah. yeah and if it happens within a couple of years of you say you know it's gonna happen in 20 years time you know you, you're allowed a bit of out either side i think so yeah, you'd probably way. be considered as somebody who had a correct prophecy, you know what I mean? But you've not. You've looked at the statistical odds of it being uh, happening. It's not unlikely. It's just very improbable. You know then what I mean? you treat like a god. Oh, if I, be, the I've world gone missing. written about him. Be like, yeah, am I right? You get me food, you get me this, you get me that. I've got to sit down <laughs> and cost you for a bit. Yeah, man. Just... My nephew... Actually, um, he put out a prophecy. Now, a, a couple last year, um, because he retweet, he reposted the Facebook post, and he said, "Am I having a bit of deja vu here?" Yeah, He's and he posted this thing, and I remember him putting out the original post. Right, it was in from May 2019. Mm -hmm. Right, and it basically said, "Me and my mate got a packet, a pack of Corona beer." Right. We got pissed, had a few drinks, right? I fell asleep with one in my hand and had the weirdest dream that there was a mad virus that everybody got 
I got it and I couldn't breathe. Yeah. This is his words, right? He said every, it was like a whole global thing. He basically felt like he was being, um, he couldn't breathe and like he was um, like going to pass out from it. And then he woke up with like beer all over him. Yeah. And he just put in the, the message or, or like in the Facebook post, um, oh, what a waste of beer. Yeah. yeah. Now, a, a year ago, I had no context whatsoever other than wasting my beer, I fell asleep, I had this mad dream, woke up with beer all over me. Yeah. But looking at it now, yeah, that's fucking bang on the money, that. And all of his comments after that, because he's reposted it going, what the fuck? Yeah. 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 I, I've been like, wow, I always thought you were a bit, you know, fucking psychic. But this is what I'm getting at about a collective consciousness. Is it? Is it? it was we all aware something like this was coming? Um, you know, and it's it's how in tune yeah. you are to what's going on, and you know, um, what the reason why people like Sylvia and Nostradamus and um, Baba um, all have these sort of visions. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And do you think there's other people out there who've just kind of gone, oh? brush it off or don't remember the dreams yeah. enough that it it sinks in do you know what i mean well your dream's gone after 10 minutes well it, it, for me it is sometimes it depends what i'm dreaming about at the yeah. minute yeah. Yeah. nice dreams and then i got uh, dream. yeah but well, then you have a dream wake up and go oh well go back to sleep is that the time right fuck it go back to sleep then you've got that dream you start the new one well, there you go. What have you heard? I mean, what prophecies have you have you heard? Any other prophecies that are linked to this, Taylor? Uh, just the uh, old Irish woman. Um, there was a, 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 an old lady in, um, I think it was uh, Czechoslovakia. I think it was um, who predicted uh, this. I, I. I mean, I gotta say, I probably predicted it to be honest. But, <laughs> I mean, so, Taking credit, that, but I was on about the uh, Ebola all the time because I kept my eye on it, and then it, it was getting worse and it got better. Now the Ebola's got better apparently at the moment, but well, then. Well, how do you know that, that this wasn't what it, you were worried about? Wasn't Ebola? But because, no, but, like I said about collective consciousness, yeah. you you came to me it was like, oh, Ebola is it gonna? There's gonna be another big outbreak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And rather than Ebola being a big outbreak, something else has happened. Now, your logical mind has thought there's going to be an outbreak of, of something. Yeah. What's yeah. actually rampant at the moment. Yeah. yeah so I was looking at logically it speaking, it yeah. could only be Ebola that's going to happen. Whereas, yeah, you know, because this is new, this is something that you couldn't have even fucking foreseen, really. So, you know, if you're thinking, if, if subconsciously you've got a, a, a feeling that there's going to be an outbreak, yeah, you know, your your logical mind would go potentially to something like yeah. Ebola. But well, I really didn't think of this because the, actually uh, the coronavirus is the most um, abundance out of all the viruses. We're more than likely to get a coronavirus because it's the the only virus that transferred from well, not the only virus, but it's the most common virus that transfer from animals to humans. And humans to right, animals. Okay. So yeah. that's so they're saying that's, actually quarantine your dogs and cats and stuff. Yeah. As well, because they can get it and pass it on to you. A um, yeah. couple more prophecies from Nostradamus, because if you go through um, all the ones we covered in the episode, there's been yeah. a few more that have come out and they go a bit more in depth with the economic crisis. Um, the president, presidential elections, Trump's going to win again. Um, I reckon apparently. so. Um, but in terms of the plague, um, the French um, soothsayer uh, or seer Nostradamus predicted in um, 1555 that humanity would suffer from a serious illness which um, would be dif um, difficult to destroy. Um, he predicted that the pandemic could kill tens of millions of people in the United States and all over the world. There's just a prediction that's come out today on 100 to 200,000 uh, Americans, they reckon, at it this does. moment in time that they reckon if it stays as it is now. Yeah. Well, it's going the, to actual, the actual you. kind of quote from Nostradamus says, after great trouble for humanity, a greater one um, prepared, the great mover um, renews the age, rain, blood, milk, um, 
steal and plague, people will die in mass accounts with no blood. Yeah, well, there's been locusts as well. Yeah, there's been a lot of this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I've been seeing this stuff where birds have fallen out of the sky. Yeah, we, we've just... done a number of, of it on them, yeah. Have you seen any of them videos on YouTube, Mikey? I've seen, I've seen one the other day. He's watching telly. I'm not. <laughs> Go on. My TV's actually off. No, I've seen one the other day where some, uh, some guy was going on about birds falling out of the sky and was showing footage of freaking his local area. It was somewhere in America where half the birds are just missing. Yeah, yeah. They just oh. fucking start falling out of the sky. There's been a lot of this sort of stuff, but, I mean, there's been a lot of kind of... Um, we've been doing little stories about these where people attribute it to the end times. And, obviously, the Book of Revelations has all this sort of um, stuff going on. Uh, so, you know, do you think this is it? Do you think this is what... Every time people talk about this corona, they're not talking about, like, corona. They go, they say the apocalypse, you know, and like I say... Yeah. Do you in think the wrong way. There's a massive, there's a big feeling that this is what it is. It's funny to laugh. I mean, it's not funny to laugh, but I mean, you never know. We could be in the dying times for all we know. We've just fucked it because I believe we've seen it all. I've been where we've fucking seen it all. But somewhere. is this the peak of technology that we're going to get to before it fucking all happens? Do you know what I, I mean? It just means a new age of a new new civilization. That's all. It's, it's and and I believe the this is the, of the fifth age of Aquarius. Age. This is the fifth age of man, apparently. And there was only five ages of man. Oh, there you go. But we only just got into it, apparently. Oh, right. Well, how are you? See? I don't know how long it is. It's like that thing, isn't it? It's like, is it your go? Yeah, it's my go. Well, my go was only five minutes. It's like, Mo, your go might only been five minutes, but a go is a go. Yeah. I understand it. My go is an hour. Sorry. What? From what I understand, it's like hundreds of thousands of years before the next... Uh, change Age. so i'm hoping right. till then okay. we're all right you know we're all right well like if sylvia's got anything to say about it we still got another thirty thousand million years or whatever it was i don't know oh, yeah but stephen hawkins made a prediction as well what did he predict before he died he predicted that we've got at least a, a roughly 600 years left and you know what right. the way we're going i cannot still, i don't mean to not. be selfish but like you know still i won't be around for that but yeah, but you, you know. Who knows? You don't know what we want. You never know. I'm in prayer time as well, so I'm not passing on any. <laughs> yeah, no, we've got cousins and, you know, <laughs> relatives. Well, there's something coming out of it then, at least, isn't there, Mike? Yeah. The fucking hell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, on that note. I think it's time we moved on. Uh, any more prophecies? Right. In fact, in, in fact, I want a prophecy from you both um, right now. What do you prophesize for the end of 2020, Mike? Uh, go on. End of 2020, they're going to be fucking, they're going to turn around and go, the the economic climate is that fucked that we're, not, we, we're going back into the European Union. That's my prophecy. Going, right, okay. not going to can we afford to give them that much money? I don't think so. Taylor, what's your prophecy for the end of 2020? Well, that ain't fucking happening, for one. It's Straight up. It fucking ain't happening, that. So, yeah, you're but, a, don't come knocking on the door. Um, I predict that we're, we're, we're going to be uh, at least six months indoors. Uh, there's going to be a little economic problem. Now, government's around the world are trying to make five trillion so uh, think, it can cover this the thing is it's like if it goes on for there's a certain point where um yeah, you know passion. employers can't keep yeah. you keep you doing this yeah. sitting at home for a while they'll just let yeah. you go and then Boom's at that point we've got a, a boom in um, unemployment so you know yeah food medication's gonna hit it's gonna hit somewhere along the line because if you're not getting paid, are you going to get your medication because you ain't paying uh, them or you're not paying the government and the government's only got so much. So you need money coming in, not going out. So then it will turn into, we all need an ID card again. Nah. Because so for, yeah, I think they are bringing that, they're going to try and bring that in. And I think, I really do think that is uh, uh, an area that's going to come in in the next couple of years again. Because My don't forget, they've signed an agreement with your, uh, the UN every country that everyone has to have an ID card with all their information. So you might as well be chipped. 
by 2030. My prediction for 2020 is um, people will realise that um, Disney Plus isn't as good as they, they were made out to be. And they'll yeah, go, ah. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm bothering. Yeah, that. There you go. We'll see. Yeah. It's just a fad like TikTok. There you go. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, on yeah, TikTok, yeah. aren't you, Mike? And I don't, my wife's obsessed with it and I don't even understand it. Well, I don't understand I it. it. Just dickheads doing fucking stupid videos. Is that what she's doing in the other room, dancing to TikTok? She's probably doing TikTok videos, yeah. Hey, <laughs> what's her tag? I don't fucking know. Oh, what a, well, there you go. Go on TikTok if you know what that is and, you know, find people who... For the youngins, innit? For the, for the youngins. Do you yeah. know what? Somebody said that um, I was saying about millennials and they said it, it's apparently anyone who is born um, 1980... Onwards is a millennial. Yeah. Oh, is that shit. true? Yeah. Well, that makes me one, and I was like, fucking millennials. And I'm like, um, oh, Jesus, is that me as well? I'm not classed as that. No, no, it's got to be later than that. Treading a that, fine that. line. No, it's got to be from 2000. If if you know, get in touch um, at neverstraightanswer at gmail.co.uk yeah. and let us know. Or is it co.com? One of them. I'll get in touch via the website. I'm very, very bad at this tonight. Um, well, moving on, we're going to go into the news. It's the news. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. It's the news indeed. It's the news. <laughs> We've scoured the whole of the internet for around about 10 minutes to bring you the best news that we could yeah. possibly find on the website. Have you got any news, Mikey? Job. What? Have you got any news, Mikey? Have you got any news, Mikey? Out. Uh, it's got a bit of local news. Go on. Area. A couple of days ago, there was a, another fire up on the mall, but they managed to get it out. Oh, right. It was near, you know, the Telegraph, uh, the TV antenna. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's top of the uh, the hill. Yeah, 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 that's why. I... That was because see, they couldn't get the um, Netflix to work or whatever, Emmerdale far. No, EastEnders was only giving you two episodes a week rather than four. <laughs> and, and they were like, why? Why is EastEnders not on? Due to the corona outbreak as well, they only sent 10 firefighters to tackle it. Because we didn't want too many in close proximity to each other. Well done. If I've got this right, they are covered up quite much, quite a lot. They could have gone out in yeah, proper with gear. masks a fucking old, a lot. Yeah, they've got all the kit. They don't. They don't have to worry about shit. They could just go there. The five firemen. Oh right, I thought you were talking about five these people. Sorry. No, I'm on about. They only sent ten firefighters to tackle the blaze. Oh, on the moors. Oh, within a couple of hours. Oh well, if you it, well, if that's all they needed, then yeah, fair enough. But if they would have needed more, that would have been a stupid reason for you know keeping separation. Yeah. Well, um, talking about police and um, you know, like um, authorities and all that. Um, there's a police officer. This is a story I found. Um, a police officer in India who's taken a new approach to the coronavirus pandemic. Um, he's donned a helmet that he's made to look like the virus. So it's got all the nobles, like, you know, you've seen the virus. Yeah, on the yeah, yeah. He's made a helmet to look like the coronavirus. Um, and he's basically stopping people to kind of give them a bit more um, insight on what's going on. Yeah, a yeah, bit yeah. more information, so stopping like uh, motorists making sure that they're washing their hands, all that sort of stuff. So I know um, had problems over Rajesh, there. Rajesh uh, Babu um, has been basically mooching around on the country. The country's been on lockdown for 21 days already. Um, so obviously he's kind of going around and making sure people understand what's going on and making sure yeah. people, you know, checking people out, making sure that they're not out unnecessarily. Good yeah. idea. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. So, um, anything you want to talk about, Taylor? Uh, oh, I thought this was stupid when I first heard this. Germany's planning Russian roulette with Corona-19, welcoming refugees from high-risk area zones. How do you mean? So they're just basically saying... Come the on, green card, come in. 
Yeah. God. And it's a bit. I think it's a bit stupid that. But well, then again, it sounds a bit because I mean it was like. Go on. You know, are they have they got an antidote or something? Are they they planning on fucking testing their antidote? Well, they're all saying they've got <laughs> come antidote. In, come in, minute. yeah, you're welcome. Uh, but, yeah, well, there's, uh, there's a catch. Yeah, you have to you. kind of do some fucking testing on you while you're here. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Oh, you never know. Right. They have been naughty boys before. True that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but, yeah, so, I thought it was disgusting when I heard that. I thought, you know what? It's like, oh, we haven't got enough cases. Yeah. We need to we, we need to invite, um, like, just open the borders again. But then again, what do you do with refugees? What can you do? Well, this is the thing, isn't it? I mean, it was like refugee I was talking camp. about um, homeless. Um, mm. And, you know, you, you're talking about self-isolating and telling people to stay indoors. But, I mean, no one's really mentioned the homeless. And then he came on the news yesterday that, you know, they were trying to get everybody up in hostels yeah, but, yeah, yeah. and home or housed at least. But it's like a hostel is yeah. still kind of a lot of people under one roof. You know, not it's even not... That going to be how pleasant long? if everyone gets it yeah how long for and as plus as these as people as who have been living on the streets are they going to have underlying health conditions in terms of online uh, chest problems you know yeah. and a lot of them are yeah. a lot of them are going to be poorly aren't they to begin with yeah totally um i've got a story here which was quite um amusing um you know like a lot of companies have been asked to kind of donate services um yeah. to the cause um, yeah. A fetish website has donated its entire stock of disposable scrubs to the NHS. So basically, kinky doctor outfits. Um, Fair enough. They've all been donated um, by this website. Hey, if this stuff works, use it. So you mean? So you mean I could? I could uh, so like, basically, it's a medical fetish company um, that says it's donating its entire stock of disposable scrubs to the NHS. Um, MedFet UK um, uh, ba- basically did it after being contacted um, by a representative struggling to find the right equipment. Um, do you know, to... wearing crotchless fucking crotchless <laughs> scrubs. <laughs> hey, mate, yeah, you can maybe. get kinky underwear on now, mate. <laughs> yeah, totally. Safety. Fucking sus- well, you know what they say about hospitals. You know, it's all going on like with the do- doctors and nurses. Why do you think um, a lot of yeah. um, like Mills and Boone novels? Can uh, you imagine centered around hospitals? Could you imagine walking in there and seeing a doctor walk past in a gimp suit? <laughs> <laughs> can it's you with a gimp mask on, on. Yeah. an apple in his mouth? Yeah, I've got, I've got to make sure that I don't get the corona. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Um, have you got any other stories? I've got. Have you? Have, I've heard. I've, have you seen this uh, star in the sky at the moment? See a lot of stars in the sky. There's a bright star in the sky at the moment, and it's been there for a while now. Yeah, me and Kelly's dad, my father-in-law, was talking about that a couple of weeks ago because he, oh, yeah. he asked, was it a new star or was it the North Star? Because it's really bright, and I was like, it's in the wrong position to be the North Star. Yeah. So nice. I didn't know now else about it. I just thought that's not the, that's not the the North Star because it's Wrong, wrong place. No, it's yeah. our biggest planet in our solar system. It's Jupiter. I think it's it's it. Jupiter's, uh, Mars, and Venus are being shown in the sky at the moment. Uh, Jupiter's bright, but the thing, like my friend was saying, like uh, uh, Agent Coulson was saying to me, uh, that it was getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Uh, now I've only just noticed it over so you the think last. It might be a comet. Or no, a I think he's thinking it might be. Am I froze that... up there? I'm freezing. I well, it, you know what I, I've been saying about the conspiracy that it could be the case that um, you get people home, you get people under control, then when the disaster happens, you've got more control of what happens in that situation. Well. If everyone was out and about and something happened, then there's a lot of chicken heads running around. You know what I mean? Yeah. You so said that you're all people, people just being a bit weird for being because they don't know yeah. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, for the because the meteor's gonna hit. You said that the other week, didn't you? Yeah, but we had fifty thousand years overdue, apparently. 
What a meter attack. Yeah, apparently we are 50,000 years old. Here. Yeah, that was my prediction. What was? Hey, that was my prediction in 20 years' time. One's going to hit Earth. Yeah, you did say yeah. that. Yeah, it's it. Straight away, it's coming true. Well, yeah, well, look, last weekend, last weekend, what, four past us? And we did, uh, we, I only found out the day before. And they generally don't say anything until the day after. I knew so, of two. What? Two, I knew of just two meteors that passed us, not four. Four, yeah, there was four of them, uh, different sizes. Um, they, they, there was uh, different lengths as well. They were like, there was one nearly close, but it wasn't really anything to worry about. Uh, and the others were really uh, up to three million miles away. So not, so not really close then. Not really, no, but the problem is, this is the thing, the problem is uh, they keep their eye on the meteorites because if another meteorite comes in or if another... Yeah, they've got like a whole is, sort of yeah, um, system, haven't they, going for meteorite strikes and stuff? Yeah. You know, they know what's coming. They should do. So, well, But it makes me wonder why they don't tell us, like, till the day after. I... I could knock each other into our orbit, couldn't they? Mm, well, maybe. that's it. Well, this is my this was my issue that got me into like uh, looking into meteorites and that because I always found out the day after and look at like how close, really how close they were. I think it was over the last 40, 30 years, uh, three that was so close, and you you only found out the details after, and that's where my issue was. I would want to know before, and so I could do something about. Yeah, of course. The last yeah, hours yeah. That I've got. Instead you'd want of trying, um, do, well, this is it. You'd hope, like I say, you hope that the the officials and governments, yeah. uh, if they know about these things, that they. But they won't, because of panic. It's just a thing. Again, I mean, <laughs> yeah, this is the thing, though, isn't it? But I mean, it's like, at the minute. What, what else could go wrong? <laughs> don't forget, they said like like we were talking about a couple of uh, like a couple of months back and that talking about how everyone has certain amount of food ready just in case. And yeah, it's true actually, but that's it. it. Since you said that, I started kind of stocking up on dry pastas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and I don't know why. Yeah, but I, I was thinking about this the other day because I was like, actually, I started doing that around about that time when you said about making sure, because it actually dawned on me then that, oh, actually, I've had, I, I would be fucked in, if, in a situation like that at this point because I don't have contingencies, you know, so it's worth yeah. actually thinking about that. And over a couple of months, I've been doing that, and it's meant that now this has happened in terms of, like, stuff that people want, beans, pasta, I've actually got a few bits, you know, yeah. so... That's why I haven't been really worried, worried about it. I think, I've isn't thought it? about this. I thought about this kind of situation when it arises. There's a lot of people who've been who've taken the piss out of you in terms of like and yeah. said, "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah carry yeah. what you're doing with your, your, your you know, um, your prepping and all the rest of it." Well, and you know, like, actually, I'm not over know, silly with it, and I, I, I've, you know, I've just done the smart thing. Right, what if this happens? Right, I'd need this or this kind of material just in case. Just in case, because don't forget, it's not just for you as well. Don't it's for whoever around you. Well, because they won't, yeah. they won't really be thinking about it. So you've got to consider the people around you as well. That's true. That's the, that's why people are doing all this sort of online stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I looked um, into when Lee said about stocking up on stuff. I looked into buying you know, the bulk packs. Me, me and my uncle actually bought some, but I didn't like them. The food in them, you know, bulk packs of military fucking food. Oh, yeah, yeah, like ration packs. Yeah, we oh, bought... Yeah. I mean, these 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 fucking stocking up and then he's taking it to a limit. It's yeah. like, do you, do you need ration packs? I mean, are we there yet? I mean, just get you get the stuff that you normally buy, yeah, but just be sensible and buy a few bits that, um, you know, that you can have in dry store, like... So even just, like, having a pot of jam... Yeah, it's something that's not going to go off for a while, yeah? That if you've got yeah. nothing else, you've got some pasta, you've got some jam, you've got some fucking preserves, stuff that's going to last a bit honey. longer. Honey you lasts know, for... Yeah. You, you know, there's actually a 2,000-year-old honey pot that's just been found, and it's still... Edible. Uh, pure honey. Yeah, it's still edible honey that they can have. I bet that's nice, actually. I yeah, bet that's worth a few quid now, that, that honey. Oh, yeah. They'll be like, oh, get it, you can only got one jar. 
you can have yeah. a spoonful. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh. yeah. I love a bit of honey in my coffee. Um, yeah, I have honey all the time, mate. He was just saying about doing things digitally. Let's hope nothing like this happens to us. Um, a vicar was left red face after accidentally setting fire to his arm whilst recording a virtual sermon. What? So he was doing some corona business. Obviously, he can't do his regular sermon, so he wanted to do a, an online thing for his parishioners. Um, Reverend Stephen Beach um, was performing a service online for people across the UK. Um, I stay I stay home to stop the spread of coronavirus. Um, in the video, the vicar um, fucking basically um, sets fire to his um, his arm on a candle, and ends up prompts into um, basically exclaim. Technology oh isn't I've just good for everything. Fire. Is it? What? Technology isn't good for everything, is it? Ask oh, the vicar. Depends. He's sixty-one. Yeah, so you know what you can't really, you know, these people what, are you're getting the grasp of it. What? Well, you what? saying he's lost his marbles now? Lost he his lost marbles? Has he lost it? And he just went like, you know what? According to the mere retirement age, I could do with it like short people, retirement. People just want to kind of like, um, you know, get on the um, let's do this from we can people can do it from home, you know. Okay. Yeah. Like, but there's a lot of people who are diving on the um, old kind of. I've had, like I say, I've had a few invites for people going, join my party. It's like, wait a minute, I'm always in self isolation. Yeah, there's always like I'm always chilling on my own. Where were all these party invites when shit weren't going on? Yeah, all of a sudden oh, you now you're bored in your house. You want to talk to me? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, watch how many people get in contact with other people. There's going to be now. like, oh, like I haven't seen you for 20 years. I've what seen, the hell? seen you for ages. What's yeah. going on? It's like you didn't want to, yeah. when you were busy, too busy. Yeah. Now, look, look, yeah. now you want to fucking ring me. Fucking yeah. now. Fucking hell, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Got uh, got, you've got nothing to do. Where you can play Cards Against Humanity online now. Um, yeah, I won't play this. I've not played it. I think I just, well, I actually came up with this idea ages ago. Um, I wanted yes, to kind did. of um, yeah. speak to um, a couple of other podcasters yeah. and do a, like a quiz show version of Cards Against Humanity um, po- podcast edition um, where, you know, it'd be team versus team. And, you know, we still could potentially do it if there's any other podcasting interested in that, get yeah. in touch. Um, but you can play online now. Um, I like to say, I'll put a link in the description for it. Um, but you can go on play against your mates up to six people, and it's fun. And since yep. obviously fucking everyone's got to stay indoors, why not play? Why not play a bit of cards against humanity? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, got, a, go fish. got one more corona. Everything's corona related. I'm sorry, that. but That's it's all corona related. Um, but you don't it's like big it. news. That's important. Um, a woman, a mum. Soaked her entire Tesco shopping in a bath over her fears of corona contamination. Weirdo. Just say that again. She, 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 a mother, a mum, she should know better. She's a mother. Yeah. Soaked her entire Tesco shop. Yeah. In a bath because she was fear, she had fears over the contaminated produce. Soggy bread, then. <coughs> corona. <laughs> Did she wash it in soap? <laughs> what? Did she wash it in soap? Because if she didn't, they were pint- it was pointless. It had to be hot water. water and soap, didn't it? Um, a it woman posted degrees. photos of her bathtub filled with items, including feta cheese, broccoli. Um, say, and feta cheese and broccoli, she said that um, she was bathing her Tesco shop um, to kind of, as protection against right. Corona, COVID-19. Um, mm doesn't work because the temperatures uh, to get rid of uh, viruses are, uh, and Do you think uh, it was just a fucking 80, stupid 80, joke 80, she, she tried? She thought, this will be funny. Well, she can't have scrubbed everything. Bath. Would you scrub a tomato and then eat it? No, depends on you wash tomatoes. People do do stuff like that. Oh, yeah, normal washing is fair. Yeah, that's fair, fair game. But scrubbing it. I think maybe it might have been. It, like, uh, she said that she wanted to clean all the food. Um, sh- you know, sh- the food shop before it went in the cupboards and the fridge to try and um, defend against uh, it, it and do it her down. bit and do yeah. her bit for for queen and country. Yeah, but it sounds to me like she's done it's it. It's an her stuff. 
to become famous because she, I think like, she just did it for a laugh as a meme. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like as something to kind of post on Facebook saying, <laughs> I'm doing my bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, then you fair enough, funny. Because you wouldn't tell anyone that you've done it. Why? <laughs> yeah, but it does bring up the, the uh, question that has anyone actually done it? Because yeah, I reckon maybe. there's a few thousand people out there who have. Is that a good idea sort of thing? No. Yes. Yeah, so, and the image the was up like to Twitter showing Greek yogurt tomatoes, feta cheese, broccoli, pink lady apples, cauliflower, um, all being given a long soak in a hot bath. Um, the oh, tub so of dars was left on the side because obviously it'd melt if it was a hot bath. Yeah, it's going to save the ice cream. Yeah. Oh, She's done all that work to clean the food and then she leaves the hag and ass so it contaminates everything anyway. I know. Oh, yeah. 45,000 anyway. and 11,000 retweets it got. Okay, she's thick as fuck. <laughs> she managed if she's get... done it, yeah, she's thick as fuck. She's managed to get herself some retweets. Um, any more, anything else you want to talk about? I've got one uh, last story. It's not uh, corona-related either. Mine is. Go on. Mine is, right, uh, British sciences advise Chinese cover up full um, uh, uh, of the uh, corona could be up to 40%, well, between 15 and 40% worse than reported in China. Well, in China? So then, yeah, so, so that they've means... Been, they've been really bullshitting us, is that yeah. what you're saying? I do know that they've, uh, they've, uh, they've been, apparently there's been loads, of um, documents been uh, burnt and destroyed. Uh, uh, a man got arrested over there by the FBI the other day, possibly to do with it, uh, but there was something to do with, because he dealt with the biological area. Uh, he'd been sending files to somewhere. I can't, I'm, I'm trying to get information on it, but it's been hard to try and Ooh, get okay. info on it. Um, um, yeah, so there's... Yeah, well, I think we all know, and I got conf- definitely confirmed the other day that like uh, there was two uh, viruses ending out in China that China come up with that there was two viruses that uh, are out, not one. Yeah, you were saying that as well last week um, about yeah. there might be two. Oh, was it yeah. last week or week before? Yeah. Bird flu, can't they? Oh, what was that? A lot, a lot of people are trying to say bird flu's back quite bad in China. Oh right, okay. Well, yeah, but it could be that could be what they're saying. Isn't it? That's yeah, why you were potentially. Well, if it is, then it's just like adding to the, the fucking chaos that's over there, isn't it? Well, yeah, um, but last year we had bird flu over here. We had yellow fever over here. Yeah, it but we didn't have little that areas. as well. We Do you know what I mean? We mouth, didn't have yeah. multiple things. We, you know, we when, when there's one thing going on, yeah. then it's bad enough. But then yeah. when you add... Uh, even something that we know about and is easily handle, handled, it we, it's just another thing to contend at the time. Yeah. It's just you don't yeah, need yeah. But, Oh, yeah. Um, so, I mean, the chances are that it could just be something else, and that's why people... Because, I mean, there's obviously still co- common colds and stuff going around because people yeah. are still getting sniffles and sneezing and fucking all the rest of it. So hey, it's yeah. just like... what well, There's all sorts. It's like I, I've had a common cold. So, yeah, I um, think I'm starting to come down with something. Well, make what sure might. you fucking stay watch to stay strong, people. Well, um, yeah, I've got keep the immune system up. I've got one more um, little story before we move into NASA news. Um, this is about a man who stole the blue flashing lights off the top of a police car for bragging rights. So he's gone um, on, jumped on the top of a police car, stole the flashing lights. Um, British Transport Police said that uh, David Macbeth, uh, 30, jumped on the roof of one of their vehicles when it was parked outside Sunderland Station in December 2018. He yeah. pulled and kicked at the emergency lights, eventually ripped them off, and then walked away with them. Um, Macbeth was caught on CCTV um, with the lights over his shoulder, and they were never recovered. Drunken idiot. So he's been, um, what's it? Um, he's been, he caused a thousand pounds worth of damage, um, to a car in Sunderland. So, um, the damage, <coughs> like I say, um, came to around thousand pounds. And Macbeth of um, John Street, Sunderland, um, was charged with the theft, um, and at 
at, t- at basically um, Teesside Magistrates Courts on March 19th. And there he pleaded guilty and was jailed for 10 weeks. Well, at least he pleaded guilty. Yeah, well, he, yeah, he was, he was on caught CCTV, on camera, yeah. yeah. Caught on camera, but I mean, the fact that he just did it for a bet and for bragging rights, do you know what I mean? Hey, we've all been there. <laughs> uh, well, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's week weekly occurrence for me. I'm always at that type of shit. But, I mean, just thought it was quite funny. Um, yeah. like, so non-corona. It was a cool non-corona um, story. Um, but moving on into NASA news, um, NASA signs um, SpaceX to deliver its cargo um, to the um, Artemis Gateway at the moon. Have you yes. heard this? Yes, we're going there. So um, Falcon um, and Dragon XL spacecraft could team up to do the deliveries. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah, I, that is good news. Well, they're already pretty good at um, delivering the cargo to the International Space Station. Um, yeah. So it's no surprise that NASA would want them to, you know, um, get Elon Musk's company to do the, the delivery of the supplies um, to the future space station uh, Starship in orbit around the moon. So um, we weren't we talking about this last week, saying that it might not actually happen? Yeah, the thing, yeah, it's been sort of postponed at the moment. It's not going to be one of the... Um, it, uh, the contract has actually just been given out. Uh, well, it seems like it does look like it's going ahead now, especially if they're putting out contracts and giving out, um, you know... But I think the length's going to be longer because it's supposed to be done by 2024. Yeah, and they're so still aiming for that. Long. Yeah, they're still aiming for 2024. Um, mm-hmm. In this report from uh, CNET, uh, they're basically saying that the space uh, SpaceX is um, they going to be delivering out to the Gateway project. The Gateway is part of a NASA aims um, Artemis program. The program's current focus is to deliver to deliver astronauts to the moon by 2024 uh, the space no. agency endeavor um in uh, basically envisions the gateway as a starship um st- stocked with living quarters and um science labs yeah no what was uh, cancelled was the space station oh actually on the, the surface space. yeah no there's going to be one on the surface but originally there was going to have a uh, like the iss uh, space orbiting uh, the planet so you can bring materials up you can take materials down so there's a, actually uh, a safe area if anything went wrong or needed to pass info or pass stuff into uh that was cancelled that was been postponed and now what they're doing is they're going and landing on the surface and doing it from there instead you know why because they've already got one there so you don't have to do <laughs> more. save well, that money eh yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. But this is it. They were saying that it was pointless having one or the other. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Like, what was the point? Um, so, I mean, why not have a moon base and... Um, uh... Well, it will do. It's just slowed down, hasn't it, basically? They've decided, well, we need the base on the planet by 2024, but we can maybe in a couple of more years, we can we can do... We might even... It might even be a possibility, thinking about it, because... Uh, America was going to release uh, the ISS. They weren't. NASA was going to um, sell it on. Now, someone could possibly bu- uh, buy that. Right. Well, uh, NASA builds the second uh, new space station, so then that could be changed and transformed into a ship to hold a shitload of cargo, even like the base, and then send it to the moon. There's a second base there, then, and then you've got something that can orbit the uh, the moon as well. All right. Okay. Have you it's... got Have you got any more NASA news you want to talk about tonight? Yes. Go for NASA it. NASA is on the slow down, basically because of the corona. Down. So there's a lot. Yeah, the Have corona you, stopped been a lot. Though you know, you can't even say. I mean, it's like what's not been affected. You know, that's more news. If yeah, you were to tell me that there's a business out there that's still up and running despite everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. This, but you know, it's it's each to their own and what what they actually do. But you've got things yeah, with everyone else around them. Not well, just this is it, and the staff and all the rest of it. Everyone involved yeah. in it. 
Yeah. So go on, that's just basically taking a slowdown in terms of. Yeah. So we reckon this will affect plans to go and do all this stuff. Um, obviously yeah, yeah. get to the moon by 2024. Um, I reckon obviously when everyone one knows what's going on and there's um a, a slowdown on this, um, they'll be able to kind of go. Well, now looking at everything, it's probably going to be 2026 by the time we do it. Um, yeah, but so, they were desperately sure they wanted it by 2020. Yeah, but, no, but nobody knew all this was going to happen, did they? Yeah. So, I mean, okay, yeah. I kind of think of it like everything's been affected. These Marvel movies that I want to watch that are probably going to get affected, I'm not going to cry about it. I'll see them when they're ready. You know, shit like that. You know, everything. Glastonbury yeah, for fine. people. People want to go Glastonbury. People want to go on holidays. You know, it's it's one of those it's things. not going to happen this year. Probably not really. might not. So just let's see what happens in a few months. That's how you've got to look at it at the minute. Oh, yeah, so, that's it. You know, and if NASA can't get there by 2024, oh, big boo-hoo. We've got, well, if that's the worst thing you've, that happens this year, then fucking, them, oh, be. well. To them, what? it would be. Because they, to them, it would be because it's the, the meteorite thing of, in it of uh, 2029. Well, That's still got so three years. Cool. If you can yeah. get up there, you're gonna just have to rush your program. Do you know what I mean? When it gets yeah. get it out properly up there by 2026, and then right and then you can still got three years before this event or whatever it is. They're chilling with the aliens. They're grooving it, man. Ah, man. You see, we should have been all sucked up onto the back of Hail Bop with um, Apple White. Do you know what yeah. I mean? He bet he ain't fucking got the sniffles. Um, I've got one story here about um, uh, an image that NASA have found, where basically UFO aficionados recently got all excited about a strange shape that appeared in an image captured by NASA's stereo mission, um, and they thought it might have been aliens, um, but it wasn't. It was just a reflection. Um, <laughs> See. And, yeah. It's always, I think they wouldn't have told you anyway. Well, probably not, and this is this could be just like one of those little cover-ups, couldn't it? Like, oh yeah, yeah it was swamp gas reflecting off Venus. Yeah, uh, definitely. yeah. So, um, it basically shot um a, an image, um, and when it was on a mission in twenty um two thousand and six, um, to study the sun for corona mass ejections, one of the spacecraft um is still in orbit, um, basically operation, and. H12 telescope captured um, this sort of mad mad image um, and it kind of come back and everyone's gone what the fuck's this and yeah. then it's turned out it's a reflection of the actual um, what's it of the telescope job. or the thing that's actually out there do you know thing what I mean out there. I thing know. that's looking is the thing that it reflected off I think so you have both people have been summit. trying to say, no, no, it's not. The truth is out there. And it could be, but it's, it's not. Out there, yeah. it's it. Truth is out it's there, man. Did you never watch the X-Files? Yeah. Fine. Well, have you got any more NASA news you want to talk about, sir? Uh, oh, it's just an now. experiment on trying to find dark matter in the centre of our galaxy. It don't matter. Unless it's dark matter. That's it. But there's Beautiful. none. They're Which in any. Folks up a lot of uh, uh, theories. They've ran out. Uh, yeah. They've, or they can't find it for some or reason. Does this, does, does this mean that it, it, it doesn't exist? Because they've been looking well, for it and they couldn't find it and they did the, you know, the tests in the um, Hadron Collider and I'm not sure they found it there either. And space, then went out you know. looking in space, and then oh, they went, ah, and we've not got any here. We it's think like, we know it all, and we know absolutely fuck all. Where is it? Is it uh, behind the sofa? No, well, it's it changes, not there. It ch it's changing so much at the minute, all the time, because there's new development, or uh, scientists have found this is actually wrong, and this is actually right, and this works this theory, this yeah. works onto this. So it, it's, it's, it's just one of them, like, science is just... An unlearning curve because yeah, once of course you, it is. It's one it, you know, the one thing one about one theory, one. theory mm. is um, ever changing, isn't it? I mean, you can yeah. kind of like it's what fits, what what model fits, and, and there is it's quite like... a lot that fit. This is the thing that, that there's certain models that fit, but uh, now they're trying to use quantum computers 
to try and find out um, uh, where dark matter is, where dark energy is, uh, uh, where the end well, of our most like universe places is. they could find it. Basically, they that's yeah. that's quite they, they, it'd be along the lines of um, they would try and find where it'd most likely be rather than yeah uh, you know rather than asking it directly. I think it's like trying to comprehend what that is to a computer. Do you yeah, know what I mean? you, you're gonna find that. How to explain of... that to a computer when you don't right. even know what it is yourself? Do you know what I mean? Just having a term dark matter to a quantum computer or Google. You know, yeah. Google knows because it's an it or because we've give it a definition. We give it the information. Yeah, yeah. but okay. it's like having parameters like actually what is it where is it located and what's it do because this is the thing it's like having because like i say you'd want to kind of locate where it'd be most likely found but unless you knew what its properties were you wouldn't yeah. be able to tell ah. you well this is it well like the old system is like uh our solar system the way we found out about our solar system, our soul system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh found uh Basically, they put a computer model out there, and the computer model tells you uh, what happens in a faster time. So you can do like oh, fifty thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've but, seen that. But what happens with a quantum computer is it does it even faster. So you're talking like a million times faster than just that normal computer. So you're getting more information. So the more the more your information you're getting, and you're giving the computer, the computer is trying to work out it does that information work and it seems that a lot of stuff that we've all been talking about as is not working it's not the way it works and we actually know absolutely a jack shit realistically at least squats yeah but, but with you know we're at least out there trying to find the answers that's true actually yeah i mean this i mean you can only ask questions there's no stupid questions always questions always oh, never questions. stupid there's no oh, always stupid answers or is it only never stupid answers always stupid only stupid questions um well that's it um i've got no more news i think that's me done for for tonight's show um yeah. anything you want to add towards the end i mean in terms of prophecies or kind of um what's going on um or prophecies on what's going on what do you reckon uh uh mikey no i don't have anything I'm going to say it'll all go... Well, I'm hoping um, Sylvia's um, thing's correct. You know, it'll just disappear as fast as it arrived. You know, and, um, you know, we, it, give it a couple of weeks and we'll all be back to work and everything will be hunky-dory. Hopefully. Wishful thinking. That is wishful. Ah, well, I'm a... You know, you got to think about these things in a glass half full. Yeah. Sort of every cloud has a silver lining sort of um, attitude, haven't you? So, you know. I think we're not by we September. That, well, September, we're not. Oh, fucking hell, that seems a long way off. Um, well, we've got some shout outs. First off, big round of applause to the NHS and all the key working staff. I know we've done it once, but we give you oh, another yes. one. Um, well done to all you guys uh, for yeah. just, just fighting the fight, yeah. keeping it real. All you do, it's so appreciated, it's untrue. Um, we want to give a big shout out to um, our featured podcast at the moment, which is the Night Guys podcast. You can find their yeah. episodes over on the website um, at neverastraightanswer.co.uk. Um, big shout out to um, the Not So Minnesota Nice podcast, which are yeah, our else. last featured podcast, and that's um, Jesse G and Jen. Uh, lovely girls and uh, do a top podcast you can get them on every podcast platform same as um, Night Guys there too and um, yeah. we want a big big shout out to all our patrons yes uh, patrons uh, big shout out to Jay Swoosh yes, Jay. Brooke um, Brooke Dunk Brooke. Dunk um, thank you for your support if you want to help us out you can get over to Patreon uh, never a straight answer and help us in any way you can um, it's all for a good cause. We can eventually get our own equipment and yes. stuff. Um, also, big shout out to Gareth, um, who just continuously support in the show. Um, big shout out to Mr. C uh, Shirley Crabtree as well for the yes, fantastic, yes. always getting involved. Um, the Hara Club podcast. Uh, cheers for um, the shout outs and stuff on um, Twitter. Um, shout out to Shay and Chris, uh, Shawnee and Chris, sorry. Yeah, uh, big shout out to Tennis Podcast, Deep in History Podcast, 
Yes. Um, big shout out to Unpaid Programming. Um, everybody who's joined us tonight, um, repeat offenders and new listeners, everybody who's um, supported us, and um, thanks for tuning in. If you wanted to get over and check out this video, we're going to put this out as a video as well over on um, YouTube, so go over and subscribe. Yeah. You can get all the latest episodes on our website at never neverastraightanswer.co.uk, and on there we've got lots of blogs, um, articles, news, reviews, type stuff, videos, loads of crazy shit going on on there. So go and have a look. It's all good. Um, and we'll be back next week, maybe if, re- probably remote again. So we'll be yeah. doing it again, yeah. trying to get um, an episode out as best we can for you. Um, yes. Big thanks to Mikey for joining us um, via, you. via the interweb this week. Big shout out to Big Taylor for um, just being a normal co-host and madness. Um, hey, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. Um, we've been um, never a straight answer podcast. Oh yeah. So have I missed anything? Oh yeah. Amazon associate links. So basically, yeah, yeah we're this episode sponsored by Amazon. Um, um, Audible. If you want to get over to Audible, you get your thirty day free trial, which is a great time for it as well because um, obviously you've got nothing to do sat in the house. You may as well listen to an audio book. Um, thirty day free trial and a free book. Um, so get over there. Also, we've got a Facebook page now as well. So if you want to join our community over there, that's a that'd be a big fucking thumbs up to you as well. So, yeah. and I think that's everything. Yeah, am I wrong? Have I finished? Is this it? Uh, yeah, I think oh, it's the end of the world think, as we know it. <laughs> as we know it, and I feel fine. <laughs> it's all. Yeah. Well, so, well, there you go. Till next time, we'll catch you on another episode of Never a Straight Answer. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. And he's been Mike. <laughs> and we'll catch you next time. He's, he's playing computer games and telling you. He's, he's, games, like, games, what the... he's just dropped the pad. Oh, my well, <laughs> that, that's my not no, I was in the world of my own. I know, yeah. It's all right. Don't worry. We'll catch you next time. Peace. Ow.